Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, Andy Sheckman talks about the precious metals market, the silver shortage, and what's next for this market. Listen to what he has to say. Ready so hard to get right now. I think it's going to define this market. And I would venture to say that you got about a week or more, maybe 10 days before. If you're not buying something right now, you will not get product into 2023. It'll be into 2023 before you get it because everything starts to slow down around Christmas time anyway. And stuff is running by and large at a delay right now, one to two to three weeks. It's getting tough, it's getting tight, and I don't see it getting better, honest to God. But the manipulation and the suppression of the silver market has been extreme. I guess what I would say is different through all the time that, that you've been talking about this and I've been talking about it is the positioning of the commercial banks that are now long in the futures market is the drawdown in physical supply. And I guess who in their right mind would want to be short in this market when the nickel market issue debacle in the London Metals Exchange in March showed just what can happen. And the concentrated short position in silver is many times what it was in nickel. It would be a, a, a epic uh, disaster. So maybe, just maybe, the, the commercial banks have set a trap for the managed money who continue to go short. And maybe as prices rise, they won't come in and short the price. And price will become more a reflection of supply and of demand. Because right now, there's, there's a disconnection there. And demand is, is well outpaced the supply. And uh, you wouldn't know it by the price. And that's what's masquerading, really, what the true reality of what this market's all about right now. I've been, for the last two years, I have been loading up on bars. I buy 10 ounce kilo and 100 ounce, and I'd go out on my line of credit and buy all I could buy um, from all of the major refineries all around the world. And um, to me, they've been a much better value. Um, you're still able to get Comex bars, ironically. And so we can get the thousand ounce bars off of Comex. Don't know how much longer we'll be able to do that. We also have a relationship with a large distributor in Canada. And some of these bars come off the, the large banks in Canada. So we have a supply. We've been getting in kilo, 10 ounce and 100 ounce bars. And yes, we have coins, um, the Britannias, uh, some Maple Leafs, some Eagles. But I mean, you're talking 750, 775 just for the Britannias, higher on the Maples, and I don't know, 16, 17, 18 dollars on the Eagles. It's insanity. So there have been bars, and you can get it. We have junk silver at 11.75. Do you see what I'm getting at? It's like all of a sudden these premiums are getting out of control. And is it getting out of control, or is it just the market's way of saying that the price that is quoted on Comex is just flat out wrong? And um, I'll tell you, if, if price were a determinant of demand, as it should be in a fairly traded market, um, silver would be 100 bucks an ounce or higher. Wealthy people, before Roosevelt confiscated gold, sent all their gold across the Atlantic in steamships to safe deposit boxes of Europe. They were, they were queued in, clued in on a, hey, this is coming, better get your stuff out of the country. Well, I think that's what you're seeing right now. The biggest money in the world or the industrials or the hedge funds or the family offices or the sovereign wealth funds, they're drawing down supplies well before that moment happens. And you can see, I mean, it was at 120 million ounces or so at Silver Squeeze. We're down to 34 million. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. We saw 37 million delivered to India in the month of August alone. We've seen uh, the London Metals Exchange deliver like 45 million ounces in the month of September. And that's 8 million ounces, to almost 10 million ounces, even more than that. Uh, yeah, 11 million ounces more than the, the price setting mechanism of the world has in the registered category. And if you take, I didn't see what it said, but last week, if you took the registered and the eligible and put it together, it was there was 218% more paper than all the silver inside the COMEX. So, you know, you're talking, if you threw the eligible in there too, one out of every two would get paper, paper settled or one out of almost every three at the 1800%, uh, 
uh, paper to physical uh, discrepancy. One out of 18 would get their silver, the rest would get cash settled. We're almost at that rate. And if you look at the, the London Metals Exchange, which is supposed to be the epicenter, down to its lowest level since 2016 when they started recording silver stockpiles, if you look at how the silver ETFs keep bleeding quietly, millions of ounces a day out the back end, the big money is front running an event just like that. And it has to happen. The laws of supply and demand have to come into play at some point, Chris, if it's coming out of the ground at seven to one in its relationship to gold, but priced it near 90 to one at some point, that has to reflect reality. And I think that's kind of why you're seeing the drawdowns the way you are. 2008, there was a defined beginning and a defined end. And this has just been a slow bleeding. And that's why I've been talking about it for the last two years. And I got a lot of crap. There, It's a fraction of what they're doing. They're doing like 85,000 a month or something like that. So if they're lucky, we'll do 10 million this year, 13 million, something like that, 12 million. And they have the capacity to do a whole hell of a lot more than that. I, I, I think it's just becoming very difficult to get silver. And there is an awful lot of overcapacity. I mean, they're open orders that go out and certainly that's part of it but something bigger is at foot here and that is i think it's becoming harder to get product at least from this level now if you're talking the 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 good delivery bars if what tyler is saying is true well when that comes up then it's good night irene because i don't know where, where you're going to get it i have no idea if all of a sudden you get to that point the all-time low, I think, in registered was around 20 million ounces, I think. And if at the rate we're going, you know, we, we're pretty close to that. At some point, they have to say you can't take delivery any longer or the whole system blows up. So it's a combination of, of way, way more demand than there is supply and capacity. It's betraying the price. What is happening is what the biggest money in the world always does. They front run the problem and they're using the rhetoric and the price to reposition before everyone figures it out. That's what's different this time. Before it was hope springs eternal and green shoots forever in the US with the dollar. And I think we have, we have dug ourselves a hole that we can't get out of because as rates continue to rise, we're going to have the same problem that they did in the UK. At some point, the bond managers have to sell and the, and the pension funds have to sell or they're just going to get destroyed, eviscerated. That's why you got Janet Yellen coming in saying that she wants to issue short term treasuries to provide liquidity to the back end of the market. And she'll buy the, the 10 and the 30 year, which are loaded into these pensions that nobody wants, which are inverted to, in the yield curve right now. Anyway, it's just it's we are at that part of the game where Things are spinning out of control all over the world, and it's coming here, too. And maybe that's why you're seeing these drawdowns before it happens. I think it's different than before, because the world is different than before, and the United States is different than before, and maybe even retaining its world reserve status has a possibility that is different than before. So this is unlike anything I've seen, where um, I'm concerned about getting product, I'm concerned about premiums not, not coming back down. And and um, I really believe this is just the beginning and I wish I didn't. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know. But I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. 
My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.